When DJI's Avada came along a couple of years ago, the agility and people-safe propeller guards made it an instant hit. There were a few issues though, namely poor video quality and zero spatial awareness when using the goggles too. It was also less maneuverable than other FPV drones and expensive, starting at just under $1400 with the goggles 2 and motion controller. Now the company has released its successor, the Avada 2. It updates to the 1 by 1.3 inch sensor used in the Mini 3 Pro, so video quality is highly improved. The Goggles 3 have pass-through cameras to show the world around you, and it can now maneuver more like a real FPV drone. Battery life is improved, and it's considerably cheaper to boot. It sounds good, but how is it in the real world? With my drone and FPV pilot friends, we tested it in a variety of scenarios and events. All is mostly good, but there are a few things to know if you're thinking of buying one, especially around the Goggles 3. The Avada 2 has been completely redesigned to improve flight characteristics. It's more oblong, less squat, and comes with a bigger battery, but somehow weighs 30 grams less at just 377 grams. It also looks less toy-like and more professional. The updated propeller guards and extensive obstacle detection make it far more crash resistant than other drones. Updated binocular fisheye sensors cover both the bottom and rear views to detect hazards below and behind, while increasing flight stability. It also features a turtle mode that flips the drone back to a normal stance for takeoff if it hits something and flips over during flight. The propellers have the same 3 inch size as before, but noise is reduced down to 81 decibels, making it more suitable for events like weddings. The USB-C and card slots, notoriously hard to access on the Avada, are much easier to get to here. Another welcome update is the generous 46 gigabytes of onboard storage, more than double the last model and considerably higher than most other drones. The 18 minute battery life was a big issue with the Avada, but the new model now boasts 23 minutes max or about 20 minutes in the real world, up 28%. Still, serious pilots will want to have at least three batteries with the Flymore kit the batteries can be charged quickly using the charging hub though, from 0 to 100% in 45 minutes with a 60 watt charger, a bit faster than before. The hub also supports DJI's power accumulation feature, letting you completely drain the two weakest batteries to transfer power to the strongest. Like the Mini 4 Pro and Air 3, the Avada uses DJI's latest OcuSync 04 transmission system that boosts range up to 13 kilometers in the US, impressive for an FPV drone. It supports 1080p video at up to 100 frames per second, with latency as low as 24 milliseconds using the Goggles 3. Speaking of, the Goggles 3 are much like the Goggles Integra, but with 04 compatibility. Along with the improved transmission, they now come with higher resolution 1080p micro LED displays and improved eye comfort compared to the Goggles 2 that shipped with the original Avada. The big update though is the real view pass through cameras. With a double tap on the side of the headset or side button on the RC Motion 3 controller, you'll instantly switch to a forward view outside the goggles. The resolution isn't very high, but at least you can see outside without having to remove them. It'll also keep showing the drone view as a picture in picture. There are a few downsides though. It still doesn't support glasses, so folks with other vision issues will need to purchase custom lenses. If you have the Goggles V2, which does support eyeglasses, it's not compatible with the Avada 2, unfortunately. DJI still hasn't nailed the comfort part. The battery and headset balance well, and you can adjust the headset up and down to suit the shape of your face. However, the padding isn't soft enough, so the edge is pushed against the bridge of my nose, creating some discomfort. After installing the additional included pad, it was much better, but I still got a bit sore after half an hour or more of use. The RC Motion 3 controller has been considerably revamped for the better though. It's smaller, lighter, and has a more comfortable grip. Controls are also more precise, with a new Sidelink wireless solution boosting the quality of the joystick signal. Where the original Avada dumbed down FPV performance, the Avada 2 goes all in. It's incredibly maneuverable and, unlike most FPV drones, very crash resistant. Maximum speeds are the same as the Avada at around 60 mph in manual mode with all obstacle detection turned off. 
That might be slower than purpose-built open-blade FPVs, but it's fast for a consumer drone and safe to use around people. It's quicker and more precise than the Avada thanks to the redesign. It turns on a dime around obstacles and climbs and descends with great speed. At the same time, you can plow through small twigs or leaves without any hassle. Flying it is truly fun. The improved Goggles 3 with O4 give a clearer view and the Motion 3 controller allows for precise and intuitive control. For events around people, you can fly in normal or beginner modes or elsewhere at 35 or 60 miles per hour in sport and manual modes. The Motion 3 adds a new trigger setting that rotates the Avada 2 in place for easier maneuvers. It now also has a dedicated mode button for normal or sport flying. The joystick is larger and the controller more responsive and precise overall. Head tracking is a common feature on FPV and CityWoop drones and it now works on the Avada 2. I found it helpful mainly for controlling the camera tilt as it's a natural way to adjust that parameter. If you want to fly the Avada 2 at top speed in manual mode, you'll need to use the FPV Remote Controller 3, sold separately for $199. The Easy Acro mode is cool, but a bit cumbersome since you have to switch it on and off. Tricks include slides, 180 degree drifts and flips, though you can't record video in flip mode. The Avada 2 is better than before in stiff winds, but it can still get buffeted around and often has to tilt against the breeze, causing choppy or unlevel footage. To keep things smooth, particularly outdoors, you'll need to practice. The Avada doesn't have forward-facing sensors, so its main protection is the prop guards and its high durability. It does detect obstacles from the rear and below, and that kept me safe in some tight spots. Battery life is noticeably better than the Avada and eliminates much of the range anxiety typical with FPV drones. However, you're still only getting 18 to 20 minutes of realistic range. Most serious pilots will want to have at least three batteries with the Flymore kit and preferably more. The Avada 2 eliminates the Avada's mediocre video quality via a much larger 1 by 1.3 inch sensor with 10-bit D-Log M capability borrowed from the Mini 4 Pro. As before, it offers normal, wide and ultra-wide shooting with up to a 155 degree field of view. It has two stabilization modes, Rocksteady 3 and Horizon Steady. The latter is best if you want to keep things level, particularly in high winds. Rocksteady smooths footage more while still allowing camera tilt to show off thrilling maneuvers. It supports 4K video at up to 60 frames per second or 1080p and 2.7K at 120 frames per second. It can only grab 12 megapixel JPEG stills, so it's not ideal for photography. Images are generally sharper and colors more accurate. The 10-bit D-Log-M mode allows for much higher dynamic range in bright or contrasty conditions. It's much improved in low light for cityscapes and interiors as well, thanks to the larger sensor. It's not up to the level of a mirrorless camera, but as with the Mini 4 Pro, it's fine for well-lit night scenes in most cases. ISO levels are usable up to 12,800 with noise reduction, with the 25,600 maximum setting for emergency use only. The Avada 2 is bound to be another hit for DJI. It eliminates nearly every flaw on the Avada, boosting picture quality, FPV maneuverability, battery life, range, and more. The picture quality in particular will make it even more desirable for content creators, event videographers, and others. At the same time, it's a fantastic FPV drone for beginners. It's just super fun to use. It's also more affordable. The Avada 2 is priced at $1,000 with a single battery in the Flymore kit or $1,200 with three batteries. That compares to $1,400 for the Avada Flymore kit. The Avada 2 doesn't have a lot of competition as regular FPV drones generally lack propeller guards and rivals like Otel don't offer similar products. That doesn't really matter though as DJI's latest drone is both powerful and now attractively priced. I can't recommend it enough. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. And for more on technology, check out Engadget.com.